what I found when I went to the expos there was so supportive and helpful and willing to share insider info and secrets and strategies how they've been able to grow their business and some of them you're in different industries like home services wellness or that might be like child care or food but still, business is business. Some strategies you share across these industries, and everyone is so friendly. So just investing time that paying for that plane ticket and the hotel or Airbnb, I find every time I did that, I left with so much more than what it cost me to go there. And conferences are really what you make of them, right? So if you go and you just kind of do your own thing and don't really network, yeah. that's good. You'll still learn things and you'll still get some new ideas. But I always say conferences, the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. Have kind of a loose game plan of what you want to accomplish to expand your knowledge. But then try to make some connections maybe ahead of time. So then if you are someone that's a little bit, oh, well, who am I going to talk to? I don't know what to say. You know, maybe you can get some of those icebreakers done ahead of time. If a, a vendor of yours recommended, hey, go to this conference, or you ask them, hey, is there other customers that you have that are maybe in a similar vertical to me? Just because someone's not in the same vertical doesn't mean that they don't have things to, to share. And one of the best things about traveling or going to conferences is getting a, a perspective from someone else as well.